touch your money for now. In another one year, you'll give money to me. When we prove ourselves that we are good people, we are transparent, we are open. Why we won't read close to handle these donations? They'll sit with us in the office, we agree on where. Because there are also some areas that traditionally have always been supported, but there are other areas that are having a serious crisis, but they have not been there in the record. So we'll sit with the Red Cross and agree. Why we want Red Cross to handle your donation is to give the food in a dignified manner. Because even if people are suffering, there is no need to take them through in dignity because you are helping them. And why I love working with the Red Cross is that they, they know the beneficiaries, they pack the food in a nice packet of so many kilos for a family, and we hand over that food to a family in a dignified manner. Such that even if people are struggling, we don't make the situation worse by making them go through a harrowing experience of struggling and fighting for their food and you know, scrabbling for it. So we'll be sitting down with Red Cross to agree on the areas we want to target and we'll work with our government officials and other leaders to go there and flag off the food donations and give it a bit of publicity and talk about you people because you know sometimes people do good things. It is very necessary that Kenyans know who have done a good thing. It's good. We must give you credit to what you have done. So we will not just give the food quietly. We will say what our manufacturers have done. But going ahead, we can't do this again. In another five years, let's have enough food for everybody. Let's dignify the Kenyan people. Finally, foreign policy, we are having a paradigm shift. We are having a paradigm shift. We are saying that our focus to turn around this economy is increased productivity in all sectors, manufacturing, agriculture, all. Increased productivity must go in tandem with enhanced market. Because if you produce more and there is no market, it's an exercise in futility. The ambassadors and high commissioners we are going to appoint across the globe, we have a new job for them. 70% of their job will be to look for new markets and enlarge existing markets. And we are going to sign all of them a contract, an MOU for two years, with the figures. How many tons of coffee you gonna sell to America? How much tea are you going to sell to Pakistan? How many tons of mira will you take to Somalia? And if they don't, they just come back home and hustle with us around here. That is the way. It's easier to check in Amutu because, you see, we have a contract with the people of Kenya. Five-year contract, renewable on performance, terminated on non-performance. We have no intention of going home. We have no such intention. We have no intention. Our intention is to get our contract renewed. And anybody who starts on our way, to the pit and the yeah, Because we must perform. And you people are lucky. We give you our best, Moses Korea. Our best, our finest. Our finest. Please, make use of him. Moses Korea is passionate about matters investment. That's why we created a ministry for trade, industry, and investment. Age is on his side. He has passion. He has zeal. And God has given him a good brain. What, most, what God has given Moses Kuria must count for something for this country. And please work with him. And already he has started even before he was sworn in. You know, he's a guy who is self-driven. He's like a wheelbarrow with a big wheel. You just lift it, starts moving. <laughs> so make use of him. The Honorable Chelgui is our guy in the Hustler Fund, the flagship of our campaign. And we have trust that he will not let us down. You know, people are talking badly about the Hustler Fund. Oh, this Hustler Fund is for the hustlers. What about us, manufacturers and the middle class? 
the manufacturers are the greatest beneficiary of the hustlers fund because the hustlers have no factory of their own these hustlers are retailers they have to buy the products somewhere some from somewhere this 50 billion a year about 30 billion will come to you so the hustler fund is your fund it's only that these are the guys are, are the go between between the money and yourself the hustlers are here and some people are not getting the connection about the hustlers fund and the whole economy it is bringing money to the bottom of the pyramid and you will find that it will expand the tax bracket will get many more people paying tax little little but when you add up it's a lot of